Hey guys, welcome back to The Leah Show. I am your host, Leah, and I am also happy that you guys decided to tune back in for another episode. If you have not, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and after you subscribe, hit that post notification button that looks like a little bell so you can get all the latest updates of The Leah Show. After you have done so, then you are in the Leah fan team squad crew for life. And I am so excited if you do so because let's do life together. Also, if you guys have not, I encourage you guys to watch some of my old videos. If you are new and this is your first time watching my video, hi. Um, if you are a veteran and you've been in this thing for a while, what's up to you? Um, but if you just happen to miss a week or two or three or four, that's fine. My old videos are there for you to watch them, so go ahead and do it. Today on The Leah Show, we will be talking about They Will Talk. Say it with me. They will talk. So if you are interested for the rest of this video, stay tuned. Now I have a question. Have you guys ever wanted something so bad, but you felt ridiculed and disapproved of by others? And especially when you know it could be something that was from God or God has instructed you and guided you to go to that place. It could be the dreams that you've been thinking about, the business that you're starting, um, whatever it may be. But you keep hearing naysayers say certain comments and haters come out of nowhere. And sometimes even your friends will doubt you or maybe even your family, which is hard. But if it's a God thing, then you know that you have to pursue it and people are always going to talk. I just want to remind you guys that whatever dream that God has put in your heart to do and you can't sleep or eat without thinking about it, chase after it and go. No matter what is going on, no matter what people are saying, it's your life. So do you, boo-boo, because you know what you got to do. Now you guys know me, I'm always gonna come here with some scripture in my episodes because not only this video is about, you know, they will talk, people are gonna say whatever, do whatever with the dreams and the aspirations that you have for your life, um, but it's also good to just have something that you can lean on to and why not lean on the Bible because people in the Bible have gone through the same things we have gone through. And it's good just to know that you're going to be able to get through your situation because you can see the evidence of it. You get what I mean? So we're going to talk about our good old friend, Joseph. Okay. Joseph was Jacob and Rachel's son in the Bible. And we're going to be coming from Genesis 37. It's really like 30, Genesis 37 through 41. So if you guys want to read the story of Joseph, you can do what you please. But I am just going to elaborate on Joseph and how his life shows that people will talk. No matter what you do, no matter who you are, people are always going to say something. So let's get into it. So like I said earlier, Joseph was Jacob's son, and Jacob loved Joseph more than his other children. Um, I don't really know to the extent of what he did and didn't do for Joseph, but from the Bible, it seems like he had more favor for Joseph. And in the Bible, it says he had more love for him because Joseph was born to Jacob in his old age. So Jacob really just took care of Joseph, made sure he was okay, and also Joseph was Rachel's child, and um, Jacob loved Rachel a lot. I don't know if you guys know the story of Jacob. This is like off topic, but I don't know if you guys know the story. But Jacob was working for um, Rachel and Leah's father to be able to take Rachel's hand in marriage. But since Leah was the first born Leah no I'm kidding since Leah was the first born he had to marry her first and then he married Rachel but he really wanted Rachel so therefore you know there's a little favoritism there but whatever that's a side note anyways back to the story my boy Joseph had some amazing dreams that God gave to him and even though his father loved him more which made his brothers hate Joseph because they were jealous of him and they could see he got better treatment and they didn't understand and they were mad 
And not only that, Joseph had some powerful dreams and things that God was trying to reveal to him that were going to happen to him later on in his life. One of the dreams was that Joseph and his brothers were all together and they all had a bundle of grain. And everybody, all his brothers' uh, bundles of grain, which he had 11 brothers, all of the grain, all their grains bowed down to Joseph's grain. And he went and he told his story to his brothers. And his brothers were like, who do you think you are? Do you think you're going to be king one day? You're going to rule over us? And... For Joseph to be one of the youngest of the brothers, like how could you tell the older brother, especially back in that day, that you're going to try to rule over us and be better than us when we are supposed to inherit first and then you inherit your last. You know what I mean? So they were already upset that Jacob loved him more. And then, they, and then Joseph had this dream and he told him that and they were even more upset. Then Joseph had another dream. And it was where the sun and the moon and 11 stars bowed before him. Now, I told you guys that Joseph had 11 brothers. And to me, I'm like 11 stars, 11 brothers. You know, sun and the moon, his mom and his dad. That's just what I'm thinking, that they bowed before him. And Joseph told his brothers, and this time he told his brothers and his dad, and his dad scalded him. He was like, what kind of dream is this? Will you reign over us? And this just added more jealousy that his brothers already had. Like their jealousy was probably at a 75, but now it's probably at an 85. But his dad, even though his dad scalded him, his dad still wondered like, what the heck does that dream mean? And what really makes me scared even to think about is that how the jealousy of Joseph's brothers really just like hardened their hearts and made them furious and mad to the point where they wanted to kill Joseph. Um, there was a time where they were going out to pass through the sheep and Jacob told Joseph to go check on his brothers and he was to go check on them and they heard him coming and they're like, okay, well, let's plan to kill him. But Reuben of the 11 brothers didn't want Joseph to be killed. So Reuben was like, okay, wait, wait, you guys. Like, let's just put him in a cistern or a cistern um, where they kept the water underneath the ground. Let's just throw him in there and then let him just die from starvation. Then us killing him because he said, what will we gain from killing our own brother? Um, so Reuben's plan though was to secretly go back and rescue Joseph. So maybe there's a little angel in your life to rescue you as well. Um, but yeah, so either way it goes, the other 10 brothers are like, nah, man, we don't like him. We don't care. Let's sell him to the Ishmaelites, which they were really Midianite travelers or traders, my bad. And they took him and sold him into slavery. And that's how Joseph ended up in Egypt. But Joseph's dreams did prove to him to be real because if you guys know the story, I'm like speeding through it, talking through it a little bit, a little brief synopsis. But when Joseph got to Egypt, he didn't automatically sit on the throne. Um, honestly, when he got there, he was a slave. They saw how hard he worked. Potiphar put him in his house. Potiphar's wife um, tried to accuse him of rape. And then Potiphar was so upset, he threw him in prison. He was in prison, I don't know exactly how long, but I know for two years, he was definitely in prison because he had he had interpreted a dream for two prisoners in the jail cell. And one of them was the chief cupbearer of the Pharaoh. And Joseph told him to remember him and to tell Pharaoh of his gift and to get him out of there but he forgot and i know definitely in the bible it says two years later that he remembered the cupbearer and then he got out of prison he was brought back up to the pharaoh and um since he was able to interpret dreams and the pharaoh saw that he was filled with the spirit of god he made him second command out of all of egypt joseph um not even an egyptian was put in charge of all of Egypt. He was second in command and people bowed before him. And that's exactly what God told him that he would do. Now you guys are probably wondering, why did I give you this whole story about Joseph and who he is? Because if you pay attention, Joseph had 
dreams that God had put inside of him at a young age and they weren't fulfilled to years later but he also had a lot of opposition and people from his family who doubted him and told him you know I don't see that in you yet people may not see what's in you now that doesn't mean that God's not going to let you become and grow you into what he already sees that you have God doesn't just speak to you just because he just thinks, well, I see a little bit of potential. No, God knows you have the juice. You got what you need to be able to live out what he wants you to do. And that was the same thing with Joseph. Even though he told his brothers, um, I don't think it would really have changed anything because people are always going to hate. People are going to become jealous. People are not going to understand. People are going to be confused. People are going to... Uh, wonder why is this not happening to me this is not fair people will say and do a lot of things but you can't let that push you away from what God is calling you to do even when I think about my life and the opposition that I have I'm like God but the greater purpose of my life is just not to see what I can do for myself but it's to grow and push myself so I can be able to be a blessing to others and tell people of who you are. That is the biggest thing that I want to do and how I want to live for my life. And I believe everybody is the same. You know, we're all the body. Some people are arms, legs, fingers, uh, noses, mouths, you know, we're all different things, but we all help each other and we grow each other and we push each other. And that's the same thing that, um, we should be wanting to do for our lives. And for Joseph, for him to have his brothers jealous of him his whole life, got sent to Egypt, was accused for rape, and then thrown into prison, and then now he sits on the throne. Don't you see how it's all a journey? So whatever you're doing, yes, they will talk, people will push you down, but you're still gonna get to where God wants you as long as you are keeping God first. So with all of this being said, I am really trying to say is keep your head up and keep fighting for what you believe God has put inside of you. And if you're not sure what God is calling you to do, it is okay. I haven't figured out like in my head, oh, this is my definite purpose. No, like I have ideas and some things I just know God has spoken over my life, but I'm still figuring out and it's all a process. But one thing I will do is always put God first and say, God, you're the head of my life. Help me get there. And you guys can do the same too. Thank you guys for watching another episode of The Leah Show. I'm so excited that you guys tuned in and you stayed to the end. Um, shout out to all y'all. Woo, woo, woo. Um, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that post notification button, okay? And also, watch my old videos if you haven't. And if you want to leave a comment and tell me that you love me, I love you too. Go ahead and do it, okay? Let's social, show some love around here. And if you'd like to leave a comment, just tell me how this blessed you or whatever we can chit chat, go ahead and do so. Subscribe, share, comment, like, and you guys have an amazing day. Love you guys. Bye. Till next time.